Good afternoon. Oh my gosh, it has been so long. <laughs> Welcome to the replay for everybody on the replay. And you'll know that because you will not see that little red button up there. However, I would still love it if you jump in on the chit chat and make sure that you give me the hashtag replay. So the hashtag replay, please. Um, I still go back, I check all the comments and I love to chit chat with you guys. Now, if you are watching live, you will know it by that little red button that is right there. And I would really love it if you guys could give me the hashtag live. So what has everybody been up to? Sorry, just got a one second. Sorry. Kids, I tell you. Is everybody happy to be crafting today? Talking a bit. I'm live. Come on, kids. I even sent them out the text message to tell them that I'm going live. And they don't listen. <laughs> what is wrong with kids today? It reminds me of, uh, why can't they be like I was? Perfect in every way. What's the matter with kids today? Okay, don't leave me just because I'm singing. <laughs> oh, Karen, you're homesick. Oh, gosh, girl. Um, I don't know what you got, but if it's anything like our family has been going through, oh, hugs to you. Um, definitely prayers. Anybody that believes in the power of prayer, let's send some out for Karen, please. Mavis is watching. Sharon has been baking. Oh, Sharon, tell me. What is the one thing that you, like your favorite thing that you bake today or something that you bake every single year for Christmas? Let me know that. I'm looking for more ideas, guys. Um, my typical go-to for baking is gumdrop cookies. They are my all-time favorite. And um, I always warm them up in the microwave every time I eat them for like nine seconds. And they're so good. Um, that's my go-to. Um, there's a lot of other stuff that the kids love, but that's my thing that I need to have. And I haven't made them yet this year. I've got to do that. In fact, my gumdrop bag, I went to the bulk barn and I bought my big bag of gumdrops and it's like half the size that it was because I've been snacking. I got to get the cookies made. Okay, Sharon says, is it Sharon that says? Oh, Cheryl Meshka's in the house. Welcome, Cheryl. Prayers for Cheryl as well. She is recovering from a surgery. Sharon says she made peanut butter balls. Mmm, those are good. Oreo balls, never made those, and homemade turtles, I've done that. Yummy. Cheryl says, hi, Verilyn says, hello, welcome everybody. Okay, so I have been sick for two weeks, guys, and I've had days. I have had days that I'm like, oh, I feel pretty good. And then I come out here and I get stuff organized to do a live, and by the time I spend that like 10, 15 minutes, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired again, and I just go back to bed. Um, it's been so rough. You have to go grocery shopping. You'll watch this later. Okay, Mavis, we'll catch you on the replay. Um, I am feeling much better today, guys. But seriously, I tire out quickly. So, and you know, once I get live, my energy gets going and I get excited to be here. So I'm going to jump in right away. In fact, I did some prep work ahead of time. So if any of you have seen this one or ordered this one off the website, our cute little stocking, I have already gone ahead and painted the top layer white just because I know I might tuck her out and you know you guys don't need me all of a sudden like running on zero so <laughs> I thought I'd do the prep work so it's all just painted white and I used country chic simplicity um, for that it's our whitest white you can use white acrylic paint um, however guys correct me if I'm wrong but acrylic paint is is technically like a latex is it not kind of sort of like it must have that same kind of component in it so um, I have not used the iron on method for decoupage over acrylic have you has anyone done that I've always done it over chalk paint and I've done it over Posca and it's acrylic and it works well so let me know in the comments if you have done the iron on method for a um, decoupage on acrylic I would love to know Okay, so my pieces are painted white, the ones that I'm going to decoupage. Um, this backer sheet, guys, I'm just going to set it aside. It'll get glued. But guys, have you thought of this? As I was setting it out today, I was like, this is actually a really cool project. Because if you were applying this to something else, you wouldn't need the backer sheet, right? 
you could just glue all your pieces like onto um, a banner or onto any of your signs that you got. You could go ahead and do that. And then you would still have this stocking to paint. So there's your options. You could have like two projects in one. So for decoupaging, I'm going to start off by covering it all with what I like is the matte finish Mod Podge. It uh, goes on nice. It's, you know, I don't have any problems with Mod Podge matte. Um, I do have problems with the outdoor one. I do have problems with the semi-gloss or the gloss or whatever it's called. I think I even might have thrown it away because I find it stays sticky. The matte is my all-time favorite. So, I don't know if you guys find that problem. Maybe it's just the temperature here. I don't know, but it's not my friend. And now I've got a cat hair in here. Goodness gracious. Come on. I'm going to be covered with Mod Podge, but I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, there it is there. Okay. I just don't want a hair stuck in it because that will show through on my napkin. So what I like to do, because I want this to have a super smooth finish to it, is I'm just going to apply my Mod Podge to all my pieces and I'm going to let it dry. And I've got a little bit trickling down the side here, so I'm just going to wipe it up. It needs to be a pretty good coat. Okay, you prefer it on chalk paint too? Okay. Yeah, I just wondered if it would lift up is my thought because it's kind of like a plasticky finish, which I do love acrylic paint, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm very rustic, so I tend to stick more with my um, chalk paints and, of course, my Poscas because they're just amazing. But I do love acrylic paint. I have a lot of it. But I just wondered if it would lift up. That was kind of my thought. Okay, so that piece is done. Has anyone gone ahead and done the stocking? I planned on doing this like two weeks ago, guys. The amount of crafts I need to get done before Christmas is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I could probably be live 24-7 and still not get it done. This The two weeks of being sick has set me back so far so far but I did manage to it took me like what should take me one day to get a YouTube video up and running um, would take me two or three days but I did manage to post a few YouTube videos just to keep the ball rolling a bit um, and I have another one that's set to go out uh, I better not say exactly when because I do have a little more editing to do to it I'm hoping for tomorrow night. If not, it'll be Sunday. All right, you go get ready for your event, my dear. And we will catch you on the replay. That was Verilyn stepping out for anyone that's missed the message. Wendy's in the house. If I have missed saying hi to any of you, I swear, my cat must have been like snuggling up to my paintbrush sitting here. Because there is another hair. And she has been sleeping right here. Like, I came in earlier and she was sleeping on top of my craft projects. I blew them off because I was afraid there might be a hair. But uh, she must have been snuggled right up to the paintbrush or something. I don't know. There we go. I've covered them all, right? Yep. I don't want to touch them. That would be crazy. Okay, so while those are drying, did I miss any comments? Questions? Barely was one that used to paint over acrylic. Okay. Um, I think I've caught everything. But again, if you have any questions or anything, just pipe in there. Okay, let's slide that out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint up my two little leaves and my cute little berries. The berries are going to be done in cranberry sauce. It's my favorite red, pretty much for any season. Let's see if I've got a little paintbrush handy. I want a small one. 
That is not one of my favorites, but it will do. So, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to take some cranberry sauce and I'm just going to go over the whole thing. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of simplicity with some. And I'm going to give it some highlights. Okay, so there we go. I'm not going to need much, just a little dab. It's the other wonderful thing about chalk paint. It's easy to clean off my countertop here. All right, set that out of the way. And where did I put simplicity? I never used to do the highlights. If you've been following me for a couple years now, you're like, where did she start this? Like, I don't even know. But now that I'm into it, I love playing around with colors. So there we go, just a lighter shade. I might even grab a little more out of here. There we go. Not too pinky, but just a little bit lighter. And I'm going to add some shimmer in here. Could be a little bit redder still. I might have gone too pink. It's close, but no cigar. Let's do that. Who else likes mixing colors to get highlights and just like the perfect shades? There we go. Just a tiny bit lighter than what I had. Uh, let's see if the light is hitting it. How am I going to put that on my stocking? I'm going to go down here. Just a little bit of lightness. Then I'm going to clean that brush off and I'm going to do a little blending while it's still wet. Nope, my burgundy went dry. I've got the fireplace cracked on full blast because I have been freezing and now my paint is drying so quick. So a little bit of that burgundy around the outside and then I can blend. There we go. Burgundy on the outside. Burgundy on the outside. All right. And then I want to blend. All right. Can you see that? We still have some dark burgundy, but we have the light pink in there too. Well, lighter shade. And then... I'm going to take a tiny bit more. I'm just going to put even a lighter spot still down the center. Okay, so it doesn't look like much yet, but it will. It will, it will. So we'll leave that white out because I'm going to need that. We'll get the red out of the way. Emma's here! And Mary Ann, welcome ladies. If you've missed me, I have missed you way more. That's all i got to say. I was off sick for two weeks. Brittany has been working her butt off at the restaurant because it's been super busy. But she has tried to jump on and do a couple lives, as I'm sure you guys have seen. But as for me, I was, I was out of touch. I managed to sneak into her background a couple times, but what was it? Because I just had to keep going to sit down. I would get so winded. I checked and checked and checked over and over. I think I had like four or five COVID tests done in two weeks. And um, literally it kept coming back as negative. So it's not that. It's just a bad flu. Okay. So this is fireworks, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna take a little bit of fireworks and I'm gonna paint up these really quickly. And by then, if I stop setting everything on top of my Mod Podge, we should be ready to do the decoupage part. Okay, 
the sponge would have been so much faster. But I don't think I even have one handy. I have them all washed sitting beside the sink. Handy, isn't it? <laughs> Yep, I'm on the men's, Deb. Thank you. Not perfect yet. Not that I was perfect before, but um, I'm still, I get tuckered out and I still get the cold chills, but I, I'm getting better. Better than I was. That's for sure. Even now, the husband's probably going to go home, come home and be like, holy Hannah, it's hot in here. But I just cranked the fireplace like full blast and I'm pumping out the heat because I've been sitting around in like my pajama pants polar fleece pajama pants or you know two sweatshirts for weeks not the same ones I would do wash them <laughs> and uh, just trying to stay warm and he's like it's not cold Ange and I'm like I'm freezing so to do the live I was like I can't be all bulky <laughs> and look like I weigh 400 pounds and not to mention all the sweatshirts would get in the way. Um, so I shed some of the layers and uh, just cranked up the heat. There we go. Okay, and then we have a little wooden tag that I didn't even think about a color for. Um, hum -de -dum. I'm thinking probably like a light brown. What do you guys think? Keep it rustic. Yeah, that seems to be what we have is the really bad flu. Um, it hit Chris, kind of. Like, he was sick for two days. That was it. Maya was sick for two and a half weeks, and I am two weeks and one day today. Sorry, I'm just going to grab my can of... Woo! Oh, did I just step on? I think a Christmas tree. I think this is canopy, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I still have the really bad headache. I still get the chills. I still get winded. But other than that, hey, it's a lot better than I was. So I want to use this just like a stain on here. So I'm just going to take my baby wipe. And I'm just going to quickly do this to it. Nice and easy and quick, and it's going to look just like a stain when it dries. And disorganized. Oh wait, that's not part of the sickness. I was always like that. <laughs> you get so cold and then you need the heat on just to warm up. Yeah, that's it. And my husband keeps going, it's freaking hot in here, Ange. <laughs> but what can you do, right? I'm wondering... I'm wondering, let's take a tiny bit of white, let's dry this up first while we're doing this. And I'm going to grab a scotch pad. You know me, I have it all planned and then, and then something else hits me and I'm kind of like, ooh, but I could do this and this and this instead. Typical me. Okay, so I'm going to need another flat bristle brush and just the tiniest speck of white. And I think I want to go this way. That might be a little much. Let's offload some of that. And a little bit down here. I'm just hitting the edges, guys. Okay, so I've just kind of hit the edges. There's a little much there, but we'll see how it works. If I don't like it, I can always go over it. And then I'm going to grab my scotch pad that I've just cut in pieces. I picked these up at the dollar store. Um, I seem to find that one side is a little more airy. The other one is a little more close together. And I'm going to go with the more airy side. And I'm just going to drag. I'm going to do it from the other side as well. And that's it, that's all. It's just to make it look a little more rustic. 
Okay. Who else has tried that trick yet? Has anyone tried painting with the scotch pad? Let me know in the comments. I like it if I can bring you something new that you haven't tried before. I think my Mod Podge should be dry. Just let me get this mess cleaned up out of here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but does have to be a little bit better than that. Okay. You like that? Yeah, so just a little bit on the edges. It was a little heavy here, but it still doesn't look bad. And just the tiniest bit on the other end, and then drag it flat. And make sure you're using the airy side of it. Okay. Okay, so put all the crummies off my paint jars. I always say make sure you clean your paint jars, and yet I never do. I'm gonna grab this napkin. Yeah, play around with it. Grab a scrap piece of something, anything, and play around with it. It's a fun way of doing it. So this is the napkin that I've chosen for the body of my stocking. And I could sit it down and I could trace it out and I could fussy cut it and all that fun stuff. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to slap it on. Let's get this all out of the way. I'm just going to slap it on like so. It's going to fit in one square, which I like because then I can save the rest for another project. And I had a piece of parchment paper here. There we go. I'm going to set my parchment paper over top. And now I just keep my iron on the highest setting. It's not like I'm ever going to iron close. If I can't just throw it back into the dryer with a damp cloth, then no, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm not somebody that likes to iron, except for when I used to do quilting all the time. Then you have to iron a lot to get those seams right. But most of the time, my iron is just sitting here in the craft room on full so that I just have to plug it in and go. Hello to Amy. Welcome, welcome. We're working on our stockings. Isn't that pretty? I love this pattern. I would wear a sweater in this pattern, and I don't wear a lot of Christmas sweaters. That's a little hot. So I'm taking a, um, I want to say 220 grit. Yep, a 220 grit sandpaper on my micro sander, my favorite sander, and I'm just going to go in a downward motion. Don't go back and forth or you will tear that napkin. If you have time, let it cool first because this board is really stinking hot right now. But if you let it cool, then that Mod Podge has had time to really settle down and grip that napkin into place. But we're working on a time crunch here. And there we go. Isn't it cute? I know it doesn't look like much yet, but it is cute, trust me. This napkin is going to be used for so many things, I think. If I don't get to it this year, I will still use it. So I'm gonna fold it back up. But even this green stripe on the edge, I absolutely love. It is my favorite napkin this year, I think. That and that gnome one and the truck one. Those have gotta be my three favorites. For the other parts, I thought I'd go with this. Is that not cool together? You could do the whole thing in the same pattern if you want. I would glue it all together first and then do it because you want your pattern to line up. But I kind of like how we had the... Oh, I might need tape for this. This one's not going to pop apart.
Let me concentrate here. Do I have tape handy? I got the one backer. The other one, it came off so easy. Oops. Well, I only need a tiny speck, so. There we go. Okay, so this is the first backer. Second backer, I'm just going to stick a piece of tape to it. And I'm going to hold it into place. And then I'm going to put another one on the top. And that is going to separate my layers. And then those backer sheets, you can either toss them or whatever. I use them to still clean up messes, so I just toss them over to the side. Might as well do what they're best for and absorb some of the messes I have. <laughs> All right. Next, I'm going to line this up. Now, I know personal preference, guys. It's whatever you like, but I want to have more of this dark pattern. So probably this one right here. So I'm just going to line it up how I want it. Try and make it somewhat even. I think just like so. Grab my parchment paper again. I just dropped my napkin in paint for that. Bummer. I'm going to let it kind of hang over my shelf there and dry. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. I love that napkin. I do have a few more on the website, but I don't want to use them all up. Not unless I have to. Not unless it's going to something good. All right. Hey, that's pretty straight. And really stinking hot. I see my grandson's watching. Hello, Marcus. Everybody still there or you're off looking in your kitchen for a scrubby pad to try that painting trick? I know, whoever thought of that was a total genius, right? I think that all the time. Who thinks of these things? I would love to give credit where credit is due, but I have no clue who came up with that. Okay, so... Close that up before I spill that. So we have our plaid at the top. And then we have our cute. Oops, I think I have that upside down. I do. It fits on there one way really nicely and the other way it kind of looks a little wonky. Alright, let's get our next two pieces done. So. That is my toe. There we go. And that is my heel that way. Not that it really matters, but I kind of want it straight, right? Let me try this again. Actually, let me do this. Then I can make sure I have it straight on the pattern. If I hold those there, and pop this guy out of place, then I know they are exactly where I want them. Like I said, it probably doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do it right like that. Hi, Beverly. I might have moved it as I was talking. Oh, well, it'll be cute no matter what. And 
and I'm probably wasting more space doing it that way, but like wasting more of the napkin as opposed to putting them close together, but it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so we're going to lift up that piece. heel all right here's a question how do you guys keep your napkins all organized oh Karen you haven't got napkins really oh sweet pea we have so many napkins on the website so many and they're not I don't know. They're not expensive. Um, next time you're placing an order, just grab one and try it. Or practice on some dollar store ones. They don't... Um, I don't want to talk bad about dollar store ones, but I've had some that the color bleed in. Some work out great. Some just don't. Again, toe. A little bit of glue sticking there. So stinking cute. What do you guys think? A Ziploc bag and labeled by seasons. Okay, that works. The ones that I sell are all in, can you see these kind of bins back here? They are all in the front side of my uh, stand and I have them all separated by seasons and themes and all that stuff. And I think there's, ooh, one, two, three, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16 plus two over there. I have 18 of those bins. Um, those are the ones that I sell. Now the ones that I have for myself, I started out by keeping them in a binder in those, you know, clear, um, what do you call them? Sheet protectors, I want to say. I used to keep them like that, but then I got too many of them. So now they're literally just thrown into a bin. So like all these scraps like this, I throw them into a bin. And so before I go to a project, I kind of rifle through it and uh, check and see what I have. But most of the time I end up grabbing a new one. And then I have to go on the website and take one off. But isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to take a white Posca and make some details on this before we glue it all together. And all I'm doing is little dashes, basically. Just like that. Nothing too special. I'll do the same on this one. I need to dab down on something here. Let me grab another one of my projects here. It has a tag still on it. Just something to make it cute. Okay. So he's going to hang there. He's going to hang there. My berries, they could use a little detailing too. I'm going to grab a black first, actually. And I'm going to go around my score lines. And I wish... Oh, I do have glasses. That's better. Now I can see... I'm just going around my score lines just to give it a little more detail. And then I'll grab the white pasta again. And maybe just put a little, just 
just a little patooey in the center. Okay, let's glue this together and then we'll do that tag. Deborah says it's cute. So has anyone made their stocking? I know we say we sold a lot of these, um, but I haven't seen any finished picks yet. Which way did I say it goes? One way lines up better than the other. Hello, Kim. Welcome, welcome. Apparently, I need a bigger pin. That pin has just made me a triple spot. Not that I need a lot, but I'm having to squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it too hard. Or maybe I just haven't got my strength back in my hands. <laughs> that could be it too. Alright, so we're lined up. Put some pressure on there. That's like barely anything coming out. Just keep moving my paint can around. So what do you guys think? You're liking this project? I just thought these napkins went together so beautifully. These are going to go up here with this. What should we write on the tag? Should we just go with Merry Christmas? Um, I wonder if I have anything chopped couture that small. Just a second. Give me one second here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I like. Okay. This is just the first one I found. Oh, there's so many options as I'm taking it off the hook. But this one was hanging down in behind. And of course I grab a big one, not just an itty bitty transfer, but I went for a big transfer. But I saw like they were all hanging and this was the front one of this size. So I had all my like smaller ones here and then smaller ones were up top. And I saw the word piece and I thought that would be so cute on there. So if it hangs down that way, Sorry, I'm totally blocking view doing that, ain't I? Or you could put your next coat of Mod Podge on here and you could put a transfer like even in the center of this would be super cute. Okay, so if my thing is hanging this way, do I want it to say piece like that? I almost want it. I'm having a problem because I would prefer P E A S E maybe coming down it. Should I make piece come downwards so it's the P is like P and then E below it, A below it? Or should it be. Or should it just be the other way? The easy peasy way? What should I do? It's dangling down. I might regret this, but I kind of want it to go this way. I'll have to put a pencil line. 
Let's find a straight edge. I have a ruler here. And we'll see how well I can line that up. Definitely need the glasses. <laughs> I always have to complicate things, right? I can't just do it the straight, easy way. Where's my hole? So I should go up just a tiny bit more. I just couldn't do it the easy way, could I? Let's grab some chunk paste here. I'm gonna shut off that iron. I'm gonna regret it because next time I plug it in, it's gonna be off. And I'll be having to sit here and wait for it to start up, but this is white, right? Not glow in the dark. Yeah. And a bitty bitty squeegee tool. Let's buy our chocolate toy caddy here. Oh, Miss Brittany has stuck a cookie cutter in there. Karen says she loves it. Thank you, thank you. It's going to take a little bit. It's got to dry in between. That didn't go all the way through. Why didn't that go down? Let's try that. That's better. So I've got my PE. I want to keep sticking my finger in it. <laughs> I didn't fuzz this, guys. Did you notice that? For the sake of this little corner, I totally forgot. But it's not pulling up paint or anything, so I'm totally good. But I should have fuzzed that. I should also be saying right now, I don't sell chocolate or transfers. Um, Brittany does. I just love them. So you will not find those on my website, but if you are looking for them, we have so many chocolate Couture designers here with us. If you guys want to say that you are a chocolate Couture designer here, so that if anybody else is looking for this transfer or any other ones, um, they can find you. You can go ahead and say hashtag designer and then where you are would be awesome. Oops, why am I drying it there? Nothing like melting the transfer. I didn't, but it would have been close. I get talking and I don't even think about what I'm doing. There we go. A little smudge there. So I can just blend that in with my rusticness. Isn't that cute? So cute. Now I want to stick other things on there. How bad is that? Just a second here. Let me stick a little twig there. We'll grab some green paste and hopefully it's not hard as a rock and embarrass me. 
when I open it up and be like, oops, I didn't take care of my paste. Now, if you have a steady hand, or you're good at writing and, you know, even drawing little leafy things, you could go ahead and do this with a Posca pen. I know I don't have the steadiest hands, so. I'm going to do a second one just a bit higher. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Marianne is in Ontario, Midland. Midland, up on the other side of Toronto. I know that because my husband has gone to, I think it's a Mercury um, courses up there because he's a boat mechanic. Uh, Cheryl is in Saskatchewan. Karen is in Alberta. There we go. I am in um, Eastern Ontario. I don't sell it, but Brittany does. She's in Eastern Ontario as well. Um, Marianne, I think that's more like Southern Ontario. Not that it matters. So how do you how do you like that? Is that cute? I think we need a red again with the glasses. I need some little berries on there. See my little berries? They're too tiny to put any decor pieces on, like any um, accents, but. All right, then we're gonna need some ribbon. And this was from the Dollarama. I don't even know. It was just a bright green, and I bought it and thought I could use that. <gasps> Ooh, okay, this is actually cording. See that, it's kind of like what you would do on the edges of chairs and stuff, not that you. But I wonder if I can get it through that hole, though. I thought it was just going to be ribbon. I really like it, though, because it's velvety. Let's see what I can do with this. I would need it. Unless I just hang it that way. This part goes this way. This part goes this way. Let me see what I can do. I wonder if I can pull that ribbing out of the middle. Is it a tube or is it all attached? Oh, it's a tube. Okay. So you can pull that out. So cool. I thought so. When mom used to make things, she used to do it that way. Now, bead threader. There we go. I think that will help, hopefully. It's just way too big. I would never be able to get it through there on my own. But with the bead threader, it's easy peasy. You like the tag? Cute. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna tie a little knot in it. And then trim off my edge. It's like so soft and velvety. But it's also very slippery to work with. <laughs> I need like pliers. Oh, here's a pair. Ouch. It's because it's so slippery 
it wants to unloosen on its own. But there, I don't even have to cut it off. The little nubby look kind of looks cute there. It's fuzzy. Cut. So, make sure that's not wet. I want my tag to hang down like this. Let's turn on a glue gun. These guys are going to hang here. I don't think stick fast is going to stick to my ribbon. That's why I'm turning on my glue gun, guys. Because I'm going to need that to loop around like this so I can hang it. But stick fast will hold down the wood parts. So I can go ahead with that part while I'm waiting for that to heat up. Seriously, it's plugged up already. So who is totally ready for Christmas? Anybody? Just out of curiosity. I'm not holding Christmas this year, so I can say I'm, I'm pretty much done. Because I'm not doing anything. I'm taking the family on a trip. I'm going to do that pedal. I'm going to do that whole pedal. And just the tip of that one. One, two, and the tip. I'm taking the family on a trip this year. It's the first time we've ever done it. I'm pulling a Christmas with the cranks, only I'm taking the kids with me. That's what Brittany keeps saying. <laughs> um, we're going to head to South Carolina. I'm going to bring some crafts down, so if anybody's going to be in that area and you want to come craft on the beach with us, um, yeah, not even close. That's how I would normally be. But if anyone's in South Carolina area and you want to come craft with us, let me know before we go so I bring an extra craft for you. And you can pop in and visit us. We're going to be crafting on the beach. Okay, I think I'm going to glue that down. But I think I'm going to use hot glue just because it's raised up because of that knot. So I'm going to use my new glue gun, guys. How about a new glue gun? This is my mean bad boy. He's awesome. Look at the tip on him. But then I found this guy. And he has the tiniest little nozzle. It's called a precision tip. How many of you have seen that before? I just found it and I had to have it. And there's a good reason and I will share it with you someday. But right now I'm still playing around with it. My idea. My reason. But it just gives out the tiniest thin little bead. It's so cute. And it's rechargeable. Okay, I want that to hang just like that. Then I'm going to need a little wad up in this corner. The big bad boy would have done this job totally fine. I just wanted to play with the new one. <laughs> and I'm going to glue that down in there. I'm going to stick one more dollop in there and across those two ribbons. Look at that string. Holy Hannah. It's like cobwebs. But I'm also going to stick some stick fast on here as well. Decide how I want it. Ooh, you're going to the kids' house. Very cool. Your four dollars daughters all go to the in-laws this year. Oh. See, I was lucky. All my kids always came home Christmas Eve. Like, I have it. My ex-husband was, you know, he was what he was. But <laughs> amazing to the point that I never had to give up my kids for Christmas. My kids have always come home on the night before Christmas. Um, they arrive like 10 in the morning, 11, 12, something like that. We have dinner that night on the night before. 
and then they've always spent the night and left at 10 o'clock on Christmas morning. They've just always done that. And as they marry, I've made sure to let them know, hey, Mike, hey, hey, Brandon, this is the rules. This is how it goes. Sorry to your family, but it is what it is. <laughs> you guys can either separate for Christmas or you can come here because my kids are here for Christmas. But this year, because I'm taking them on the trip in the new year, I told, I told them all, you can go to the in-laws, you can go to the dads, wherever you want. But from now on, you come back again after this year. <laughs> what do you guys think? Super cute. Now, you can give it a top coat of Mod Podge if you're worried about it getting wet. If you're worried about, you know, just even to wipe off the dust and stuff, I would definitely give it a top coat. Um, because I've gone ahead and I've already glued it all together and I didn't want to wait and do a top coat, I'm probably going to use a spray top coat this, this time. Um, Mod Podge makes a spray top coat. Couldn't tell you where it is right now. But um, I'm going to take it outside real quick, even though it's cold and snowing. Um, well, not snowing yet, but it's supposed to start. I'm just going to set it in a box. I'm going to give it a quick top coat, and then I'll bring it in. It doesn't stink that bad. Um, but if you're worried about it, like you could have took your time and did your top coat of Mod Podge, just remember to work from the center out on each of your pieces. Otherwise, it tends to bubble a bit. But that is my super cute stocking, guys. And of course, you could add more details if you want. You could go in with some of the slick and you could put, you know, some puffy on there if you want. But I just think that is so simple, so cute, and so rustic, and I absolutely adore it. Now I need a fake little fireplace and have a bunch of these hanging on it. Because I don't have a real, like I have a wood stove, but I can't hang anything on there. I'm thinking I need a tiny bit more glue under there. It's just wiggly. It's just wiggly. But it could just be that it's not dry yet. But stick fast usually quick. But super cute, super easy, and super fun. And I'm really saying super a lot. <laughs> Karen is too. She's saying it's a super cute idea. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I like the tag done that way. Better than if it said peace, you know, going downwards. I just, I don't know. I like it that way. But that's my preference. Um, as you do yours, remember, we have a group. I don't have the link for it. I should have had it to drop in here. Um, we do have a crafting group, guys. If you're not part of it, you should be. Um, scroll down on our page and find the link. I'll see if I can pin it to the top. Um, but it's for you guys to share all your projects that you do with us. And this way, if you're looking for inspiration, you can just kind of tour through the group and uh, find inspiration picks. But if you're not in that group, you're going to want to get in there. Super cute, super easy, super fun, and I love the napkin. It's so pretty. And the Mod Podge will seal up my chalk paint too, so. Love it. Now you're heading for a nap. I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, I've got to clean that transfer, which I was kind of regretting using it because I'm tired out now. Um, but it won't take long because it's just two little corners, right? Um, I'm going to go work on that, and uh, then I'm going to have a nap too, I think. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the cute little, um, you know, new idea of making the rustic board in behind using a scrubby pad. And uh, make sure you join that group and also follow us on YouTube, guys. Um, I'm really hoping to get up to 1,000 subscribers so I can start going live over there. Um, there's a ton of reasons why. Facebook loses my videos. That's the big one. Um, but it's just easier than me having to upload. Um, but yeah, if you could do that for me, that would be awesome. Okay. I'm tuckered. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for joining me. And I missed you all so much. I'm glad to be back. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.